Alright, hello guys. And today, let's see, I just tried to fix my microphone. Okay. Uh oh. Hmm. Today, oh, I can't get it. We will be in Ezekiel and John. Raj over Pharaoh. 31 was about allegory of the Cypress. On the first day of the twelfth month, twelfth month in the twelfth year, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, utter, utter a lament over Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, saying to him, Lion of the, lion of the nations, you are destroyed. You are like a monster in the seas, spouting in your streams. Stirring the water with your feet and churning its streams. Thus, says the Lord God, I will spread my net over you with a host of many nations and draw you up in my seam. I will leave you on the land, on the open field I will cast you. I will have all the birds of the air alight on you and all the beasts of the earth fill their, eat their fill of you. I will leave your f I will leave your flesh on the mountains and fill the valleys with your carcass. I will w I will water the land with what flows from you, and the riverbed shall be filled with your blood, and the riverbed shall be fl filled with your blood. When I snuff you out, I will cover the heavens, and all the stars I will darken, the sun I will cover with clouds, and the moon shall not give its light. All the shining lights in the heavens I will darken on your account, and I will spread darkness over your land, says the Lord God. I will grieve the hearts of many peoples when I lead you captive among the nations to lands which you do not know. Many people shall be appalled at you, and their kings shall shudder over you in horror when they see me brandish my sword. And on the day of your downfall, every one of them shall continuously tremble for his own life. For thus says the Lord God, the sword... The sword of the king of Babylon shall come upon you. I will cut down your horde with the blades of warriors, all of them the most ruthless of the nations. They, they w shall lay waste the glory of Egypt, and all their hordes, her hordes shall be destroyed. I will have all of her animals perish beside her abundant waters. The foot of man shall stir them no longer, nor shall the hoof of, be of beasts disturb them. Then will I make their waters clear and their streams flow like oil, says the Lord God. That when I turn Egypt into a waste, like the, the land shall be devastated of all that is in it. When I, strike all, when I strike all who live there, they shall know that I am the Lord. If this is a dirage, it shall be sung. The daughters of the nations shall chant it over Egypt and all its hordes shall they chant it, says the Lord God. On the fifteenth day of the fir first month in the twelfth year, the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, lament over the throngs of Egypt, for the mighty nations have thrust him down to the bottom of the earth. With those who go down to the pit, in the midst of those slain by the sword, they shall fall, and place, and place, and pl place shall be made with them for all their hordes. Then from the midst of the netherworld, the mighty word shall speak to Egypt. Then, whom do you excel in beauty? Come down, you and your allies, lay with the uncircumcised, with those slain by the sword. There is a Syria, there is a Syria with all her company, all of them slain, whose graves have been made in the recesses of the pit. Her company is around Egypt's grave, all of them slain, fallen by the sword, and spread terror in the land of the living. There is alarm with all her throng about Egypt's grave, all of them slain, fallen by the sword. They have gone down uncircumcised to the bottom of the earth and spread their terror to in the land of the living. They bear the, their disgrace with those who go down into the pit. In the midst of those slain, they are placed. There is Matricia and Tuba and all their throng about her grave, all the uncircumcised slain by the sword, for they spread their terror in the land of the living. They do not lie with the mighty 
men fallen of old who went down they um men fallen of old mighty men fallen of old who went down to the nether world with their weapons of war whose swords were placed under their heads and whose shields were laid over their bones through the might though the mighty through the mighty men caused terror in the land of the living but in the midst of the uncircumcised shall you lay with those slain by the sword there are Edom and her kings and all her princes who despite their might have been placed with those slain by the sword with the uncircumcised who lay and with those who go down into the pit there are all the princes of the north and all side all and all the Sidelians who have gone down with the slain because of terror there might inspire they lay uncircumcised with those slain by the sword and bear the disgrace with those who go down to the pit when Pharaoh sees this, he shall be comforted for all his hordes slain by the sword. Pharaoh and all his army, says the Lord God, since he spread his fear in the land of the living, therefore therefore is he laid to rest among the uncircumcised with those slain by the sword. Pharaoh and all his hordes, says the Lord God. Let's go about Raj over Pharaoh and Raj over Egypt. Okay, and now let's do John. We shall be actually finishing John. Okay. John 21. John 20 was about conclusion, Thomas' appearance to the disciples, and the appearance to Mary of Magdala and the empty tomb. After this, Jesus revealed himself again to, again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together with Simon Peter, Thomas called Diemius, Nathaniel from Canaan, and the Le, and Nathaniel from Canaan and Galilee. Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I'm going fishing. They said to him, We will also come with you. So they went out and got into the boat. But that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore. But the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. And Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat and you will find something so they cast it and were not able to pull it because of the number of fish so the disciples whom jesus loved said to peter it is the lord when simon peter heard this it, it was the lord he tucked his got in his garment for he, he was tight lightly clad and jumped into the sea the other disciple came in the boat for they were not far from shore only about 100 yards dragging the net with the fish they climbed out on the shore. They saw a charcoal fire with fish on it, on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you, you just caught. So Simon Peter went out and drag, dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. None of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them and in like manner of the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. You know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to me the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him the third time, Do you love me? He said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Be my sheep. Amen, amen. I say to you, when you were younger, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone will dress you and lead you and where you do not want to go. He said this signifying what kind of death he would glorify God. When he had said this, he said to him, follow me. 
Peter turned and saw the disciple fellow, fellow with whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? Peter saw him. He said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is of it is yours? You follow me. So the disciple, so the so the word spread among the brothers that the disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told them that he would not die. Just what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern of it is it is it of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to the things and has written them. And we know that his testimony is true. There are many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world could contain the books that would be written. Let me just put this bookmark where it's supposed to be. We now finished John. Yay. Okay, next. Let's see. Hmm. All right, let's see. Right, hold on, let me just this. Okay, so, it was pretty interesting, I liked it in Ezekiel today, and I found that was pretty interesting, and we think, let's just go there so that we can kind of look at it again, if I remember correctly, it's not far away from Mark, so it was a drudge, or how it's so like a limit or something. So you were a mon you were like a monster in the seas. Sea. So he was he you were like. It was he was like. It was he was like. Um and so he was like a monster in the sea. And monsters are normally very bad. Or sometimes yeah, that's what I think. And it also says that it would they were a horde and very bad, and that really God really demolishes Egypt, um, but, and this is derived over Pharaoh, so you were like, so Pharaoh, you were like a monster in the seas, spouting in your streams, it says a derive over Egypt, and it says you're going to go down to the pit, with all the other uncircumcised, not with the brave men who fought and were old and were really honored, I guess. But, um, hold on one second, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. All right, so. Um, so we have that, and so it's just really interesting about that. But now I'd like to go to a more happier subject, I'm sure, as most of you would call that very, very, very sad, depending on how you view it. Um, so discuss that too the resurrection so it's really strange that no it's not strange but what jesus did was he was not he was hardening their hearts kind of he was not letting them realize who he was who he who he was they they did not realize he was jesus but and i mean i'm pretty sure it was i'm not i probably john was John the beloved disciple? Well, this is the book of John, and he also says 
is this disciple who testifies to these things and, and has written it. So maybe that was John, probably. Um, so Jesus and Peter, he he was asking him if he loved him, and he asked it to him three times. Um, it's interesting because the Holy, Sp- the God, Jesus, and the Father, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the the Trinity, and now he asks this to him three times. So that's really interesting. Um. And so, yeah, the appearance to the seven disciples is, he does, he appeared to them three times without them knowing it, counting this one. I really like the conclu- the conclusion is interesting because he's saying, there are also many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. So that obviously meant there were a lot of books, um, and he's saying that the whole world, that the whole world could not contain the books that would be written. So, I mean, yeah, that's also interesting. Um, so I like to look sometimes look at the details, but okay. So. A lot of times, it's interesting because I think about, like, Peter. And he's the one that really, or Simon Peter. He's the one that really stands out as a disciple for me a lot of times. But John was the beloved disciple. So that's really interesting because all the disciples, I like to remember this, is... The, the beloved disciple, I like Jesus' prayer, where he says, and, hold on, let me find this, um, hmm. where was it? And none of, when I was with them, I protected them in your name. So this is part of Jesus' prayer. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me. And I guarded them. And none of them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction. Um, so will some of them stray or except, or will they stay in the faith and except for the son of destruction, obviously. Judas, um, but I think, I mean, I'm not really sure, but I mean, I thought that they would all, you know, be like, um, what's it called, you know, always be it, and I really don't know, I have no way of no knowing what the plan is for all the disciples, but I certainly know that, <laughs> well, I think they loved him anyway, a lot, especially, I think, the beloved disciple, probably, <laughs> he was the beloved disciple of John. And Peter, he says, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. So, you know. And I th- somewhere Jesus said to Peter that he was the rock or something of the church or something like that. So it's just really interesting. Um, but I really like John because I just really like John. It's um, I find it a really nice, you know, book in the Bible. Um, some of them, I, I guess, I like different parts of each gospel. Um, so. Alright. Let's say a prayer. Dear Lord God, thank you for today, and please keep us safe, and please protect us, and please help us do your will. Um, please help us see the truth. Please help us do the truth. Please help us do your word. And please help us always do what you want us to do. Jesus Christ, your says, but holy name we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one, and subject us not to the final test. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Um, it, it is very much appreciated. I really, I really appreciate when someone watches my video and, um, you know, keep praising God, keep doing his will. Um, yeah, oh, whoops. Um, keep doing his will and, yeah, and comments, of course, I really I appreciate comments, um, and, yeah, and I can't wait to see you, and just remember, I have, I'll see you next time on this, on the Bible, Bible reading, or my Bible writing, God's Helper Marietta writing, Bible, live Bible writing, um, and also, you can also just go and go, go to my channel, my YouTube channel, and, um, it should be there, um, so, right now, if you want to know where I am, I'm actually in John at, at chapter 7, so I'm very much enjoying this chapter, um, so, yes, I'm very, very excited, I think I'm somewhere in this little paragraph thing, so, or up here, I don't know, but, all right, well, let's see. Um, okay, just trying to get this. All right, thank you, and yeah, hope you enjoy your day. It's sunny, little cloudy up here. Um, but all right, well, yeah, thank you for watching. It, it, it's very much appreciated. I really like it. Um, I really appreciate it, and yeah, so see all right thank you for watching and yeah see you all right well thank you for watching again and hope to see you next time and may God bless whoever watches this video, and, yeah. And just a couple more things. Um, yeah. Um, not really anything else, but I'm excited to see you guys next time. And it's also always a pleasure doing this, so it's very much. And yeah. Yes. Um and so I'm very excited to do my writing. That's always a pleasure too, so it's a yeah. So alright, and if you wanna tell me your favorite book in the Bi favorite book in the Bible, that I would that would be really nice. Um you know, and what your favorite gospel is. Which one you prefer, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John? I always like to, you know, see. It, ver it very much varies. Um, but, you know, I like the whole Bible. I like the whole Bible. Yeah. Um, um, so, and if you have a favorite passage in the bible that i would love to also see that too and you know so um, thank you thank you for watching and i'm very excited to see you next time all right thank you thank you oh, let me put it on here Thank you, bye.